a little bit of a chilly morning. We're here out at Berkeley Hills, about to play 18 holes. This is hole number one. Let's do this. So we're about 125 yards away. We hit a like a low knockdown pitching wedge. In there. A little bit uphill, right to left. I'm not sure if this grass is gonna catch my ball. I'm gonna give it a little extra. To par. Not a bad start. I hit that way right. Leave it alone, wind. Maybe just short of it. Oh, sit down. Oof. Another par, it's three pars in a row. All right, five pars in a row. Oh, all right, bogey, one over par. All right, we got a par three, 197 yards. I have a seven iron in hand. Wind's helping a little bit. Appreciate it, have a good day. Wasn't able to feel myself in that hole putting. It's because they just let me through, but I walked out of there with a par. So, let's keep it going. Perfect.
かいはい、good par finish the front nine one over par let's see what we could do in the back nine take that Back to even. We have a nice short par three here. We have 140 yards. I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge. Just slightly short. Just front, front fringe. Alright, still even. So when I moved down here to Georgia, I didn't really have a place to practice. I was hitting balls literally right outside my apartment, right at my living room, actually. I set up a net and just a mat, just a small mat that I put on the floor. I was literally hitting balls into the net. And as I was caddying at Peachtree, a member actually hooked me up with his friend who is a member here at Berkeley Hills. And they were able to get me an honorary membership here. So I was, I'm really fortunate to have that, able to practice actually at, at like an actual course rather than my apartment. Um, but yeah, thank you. Huge shout out to Berkeley Hills and huge shout out to the member who set this up. Couldn't be on this journey without you guys. I really like where my game is currently at. I took some time off right after the second stage of Corn Ferry Q School, trying to gain some weight, getting stronger. I wait to see what the schedule is going to be like coming up. Um, I'm just currently waiting for them to release the Monday qualifier schedules for Corn Ferry events. But yeah, let's get back to it. I guess it broke the other way. I guess it broke left. Pretty straight away par four. All right, just a little bit stymie here. I'm gonna try to draw it around this tree. I'll take that. One of those days. Perfect. All right, we're 220 yards away. I'm gonna hit a five iron. my birdie and walk out of here. Just like that. 
When you're not playing too well, you really got to take advantage of the par fives. You get a higher chance of getting a birdie in a par five, so you just got to take advantage of those and you know keep keep steady. Try not to attack and make big mistakes. And that's the only thing you could do. Just you know control damage control and be smart. So the pins in front. Our landing area is pretty small. You got to put some spin on it. I've been leaving my putt short all day, so let's let's give it a little extra here. Okay. That's all right. Hole number 17. This is gonna be a dog leg right. Either hit a cut or try to take on those trees. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a cut here. So I had a good drive, but check this out. I couldn't find my ball. All these leaves. Where is it? Like I'm currently sitting at one under par. Didn't really have my A game today. This is not how I want to end with like a lost ball just because there are a bunch of leaves here. Found it, found it. I'm sitting right there. God, that would have been so frustrating. But hey, we got a good look here. We got 123 yards. I'll take my 50 degree because I learned my lesson in hole number nine. And that right there is my ball. All right, brought it back. We brought it up to two under. I mean, again, that's the funny thing about golf. Like back there, I was struggling to find my golf ball. And if I didn't find it, this would have been an, an easy double. But then, luckily I found it and was able to make a birdie. So now I'm at two under and we have one more hole to play. Let's finish with a birdie. All right, last hole. I'm gonna end this uphill par four. So the driver down the middle and, you know, finish strong here. A little bit left. All right, just in the left rough, not too bad. All right, so we have about 90 yards. Got a 58 in my hand, probably an 82 yard shot and let it roll up. Be good. Oh. Finished the round with two under par. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you really like this content, please comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also coming out with a online course and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that but please also comment if you're interested on it and I will send out like a newsletter or something so so that you'll be up to date but yeah hope you guys enjoyed your day and I'll see you guys soon peace out